Shalom and welcome back to Code Searcher. Alright, now in this video I want to talk about CERN. Um, one of the last tables I worked on it kind of sparked some investigation and so uh, I found the term the gates of the abyss. Now before we get to that table I just want to cover a few things and re uh, cause your memory to recall some things. Um, if you don't know, CERN is a Hadron Collider. It is in Sweden and a part of, uh, I believe it's France. But one of the interesting things about it, you can see in this picture here, all these images of it, this area, which is somewhat like 28 miles, is centered on a place that was known to be uh, the Temple of Apollo, or Apollyon, or Abaddon. Uh, this is the abyss, the pit. Um, you can find this in Revelation. Um, after chapter 8 where an angel is given a key to a pit uh, this is uh, Lucifer when he's cast down he's given a key to a pit and he opens that pit and, and there are things that come out um, more than likely demons or Raphaim or uh, Nephilim uh, but just to kind of set this up I just wanted to go through some of these images um, of course the logo is 666 so uh but uh, one of the other things is the the image they chose to put in front of this is Shiva or the destroyer. Uh, this is a Hindu god and you can see here uh, this is the exact uh, image that is on the outside of this building. And this is their headquarters by the way which is kind of like a dome uh, sphere kind of uh, structure. It's probably uh, copper or something like that. Uh, but uh, and another thing. I didn't realize this, but uh, the people at CERN, this is the reason why the internet was born, was CERN. So, uh, and you know what the internet stands for, right? World Wide Web, 666, um, the gematria for World Wide Web or computer uh, is kind of ominous. World Wide Web is 666, the word computer uh, is also 666. Um, so, yeah. Uh, one thing I want to point out <clears throat> is the things that, that's going on around us. These signs or omens. And this is one of them. Uh, this is another. This happened back in August 4th of 2012 when, well, let's just play the video and you can see for yourself what happens. Pay attention in the timing of when this takes place. Folks, this was a sign. was proof that our flag was still there. Oh. Was proof that our flag was still there. Now, some people said, oh, well, that was, that was a hoax. So somebody meant to do that. Really? You, you think somebody intentionally done that? Well, if they did, uh, kudos to them for getting us because... Uh, I took that as an omen. We should have been paying attention to what that means. America Falls. Uh, here just a couple of months ago. Um, what are we doing here as a co as a country? We're putting the image of the the demon of destruction, Shiva, on a building in um, New York. Um, of course, it, it was. Uh, like a flowing video or something on the side of this building where it transformed into a uh, face of a woman into the face or the three-eyed uh, face of this Shiva this god of destruction you can see here uh, when cutting the head off of someone um, was that just tongue-in-cheek or was our government trying to tell us something um, it's all in your face folks um, but I want to submit something to you uh, there's such a being called a watcher. Now in the Bible, um, these are fallen angels. Or, or Irium is what the Aramaic is. The Irium. Um, they came down, and you can find this in Daniel. 
in the book of Enoch. And folks, uh, uh, the, the, the rhetoric about, well, Enoch is not part of the Bible, so you, you discount it. You don't read it. Well, I, I think that is a mistake. Um, Enoch fills in a lot of gaps, and I do believe it's a valid book. Um, it's quoted in the Bible by people from the Bible at least three or four times that I can recall uh, from Enoch. It is also a book that was found in Qumran. So the Essenes believe that it was important. And the reason I want to point it out is because uh, the, the content we're going to be looking at discern uh, the gates to the abyss and the fact that Revelation mentions um, a bottomless pit. And so does the book of Enoch where a fallen angel called Azazel is put into everlasting darkness and change. Now, folks, I don't want to call out these names, and I shouldn't have called out that one. Um, every time I do a table on something like this, um, there's usually an effect, and it's negative. Uh, the last time my dog, a little bit, died when I did a CERN video. The next day, no joke, literally the next day, my dog was uh, fighting for her life. She was bleeding to death internally, and uh, she eventually died. But uh, I want you to know that all of these um, names, which are the fallen angels, are in the table. But I'm not going to show them because I don't want to give any power to their names. But uh, they are there. And I will show you what else is also um, there. Uh, before we go there, let me just show you. Where I went to CERN's um, uh, webpage, I got some of the, the words uh, from their um, experiments, uh, Awake. Uh, another one's called a a trap uh, or a a trap, but it, it looked to me like a trap um, cloud. Uh, these are all the names of them. So I look for that. I look for dark matter, and, and you'd be surprised at what we found here. But let's just take a look real quick. And this is very preliminary. I haven't gotten into the verses yet. I'm still looking at the ELS uh, anomalies in this table, but it is found at a width of 15. 421 is where it is, and this is the access term in, in purple. Now, again, folks, this is on a cil cylinder width, excuse me, of 15421, which means between every letter is 15,421 letters. So that is a pattern. So if you think about this, this is like a combination to a lock, and we just found uh, the opening to it. So now we have a matrix of verses and things that are hidden here. Uh, that we were in, in, in was intended for us to find. Uh, that's very clear. Uh, what's really interesting is here is right off the bat I found Nephilim. And you can see this in green. Nephilim and it is also right here Nephilim. But the skip of it is every seven letters here and then it's every 77,101 uh, 111 excuse me 77111 is right here. And then right on top of it even sharing a letter which is the pay is Raphaim right there and you can find the three letters that make up the word Nephal or the fallen in in reverse here uh, Raphaim is also up here in the red you see Raphaim and uh, also the name Lucifer which is given in Isaiah Lucifer is also here there's also on this side and down this way um, right there with Nephilim budding up is the word awake Remember the the names of the uh, experiments over uh, at CERN. One of them is called Awake or Awaken. And here we got Nephilim, Awake. The word Judgment is here three times. I found there three times. Atlas, which is another test or experiment. Atlas running through the Tet in uh, Judgment. We also have Shiva. Shiva standing vertical here and Shiva in Hebrew is seven by the way if you didn't know Shiva is also here Shiva is also down here it's good for 44 right there and uh, look at this dark matter all in one line you got dark and dark, with are the darker letters and then matter in the purple letters so dark matter layered on each other um, you also have the darkness or how's this Avi Melek, which says, my father is king, is the meaning of that name. But it says, my father is king of the darkness. Coming together. My father is king of the darkness. And who is that? Abaddon, in the red. Abaddon. Uh, in the days of Noah, vertical right there. And in this verse, twice, we have the words, the word from CERN. 
You see it there in the purple and it's also in the blue, starting with the Mem, the Zadi, the Resh, and the Noon from CERN. Um, we've got seven thunders right here with Elijah, also over here, thunders. Um, there, there are seven thunders mentioned in Revelation. These are fallen angels. They are known to be fallen angels because holy angels do not speak out of order. And the seven uh, thunders spoke out of order, and their words were sealed up. So uh, seven thunders is definitely seven fallen angels. It is also spoken in uh, Revelation where there are four more angels bound at the river Euphrates, and there's one in a bottomless pit. That is the one I mentioned previously in this video. The word, the computer, is also here in the plain text, and this, I believe, is an anomaly effect. These five letters is the computer. Uh, down here we also have Shiva, or seven, and let's see, um, thunders, and awake, or the uh, also awake vertical. So we got awake, Shiva, and the darkness vertical, uh, awake twice, look at that, awake and awaken, or awake. Uh, the word for watchers, Uriyum, Uri. Uririm, Uririm is how you pronounce it, Uririm, and Apollo is also here, goes off the page, but it is here, um, which is the Greek for Abaddon, it goes off the page, but here it is, Apollo, and goes off this way, so there you go, uh, like I said, it's very preliminary, we haven't gotten into the verses yet but let me just show you what just a, a sample just one verse right up here where it says from CERN I want you to see who is mentioned in this and keep in mind we're talking about what is in this pit Raphim, Nephilim, um, the Anakim, the Giants, these offspring of fallen angels uh, it is believed that CERN is trying to destroy the world by bringing back the Nephilim like as in the days of Noah um, these are players, folks. It is clear from Revelation that it is about fallen angels as well, not just us. We are just pawns in a cosmic um, chess match that is going on. We're just in the caught in the middle. Um, so let's look at that verse or series of verses, which is in Devarim chapter two, and you can see up here, and uh, we'll just back it up a little bit. And start with verse 10. However, okay, 8. And when we pass from our brethren to the children of Esau, which dwelt in Seir, though through the way of the plain of Elah, uh, Elath, and from Azongagar, Gabar, we turn and pass by the way of the wilderness of Moab. And you who ascend to me, distress not, at, uh, distress not the Moabites, neither contend with them in battle. For I will not give thee of their land for possession. It's probably because, hmm, it's cursed. Because I have given it to R and the children of the land of Lot for a possession. Lot, who went to Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, so it's probably a cursed land um, that was there. The Emims dwelt therein in, past time, in times past, a people great and many and tall as the Anakims, which were also accounted giants as the Anakims, but the Moabites called them Emims. So here we go, uh, a mention of the Nephilim. Any, any of these tribes, the Emims, the Anakims, um, the Jebusites, the, the, they were all part of this polluted seed. And uh, here we see a, a mention of them right in the place where it says from CERN. Um, if you think they're just studying science over there, folks, and they're not up to something, you know, diabolical, then there's something wrong with you. You're still asleep. Let me just mention that the angels, when they came down to man, and you can see the list here, just go to Wikipedia and look at Watcher or Angel and come down to these names and see what they taught mankind. They taught mankind all kinds of things that was considered to be uh, an abomination. We weren't supposed to know. Um, um, hidden secrets, enchantments, uh, how to how to f 
fashion uh, or, or forge weapons. Um, so what I want to submit is these fallen angels have always been capable of this. What they were waiting on was the passage of time and the progression of man's knowledge. I mean, man had to wait until a time where there were computers, when there were a time where there was uh, copper and, and platinum and all these things that go in all these wires, all this stuff that came from the Industrial Revolution, and uh, as in as it is the book of Daniel, the time of knowledge, where it, knowledge is increased, man runs to and fro, that is now um, an explosion past 150 years from the Industrial Revolution until now is the time of Daniel. <clears throat> So I submit to you folks that these fallen angels have always had a plan. This is part of it to bring back and to open uh, this pit up and let out their comrade who is uh, the chief to Lucifer. Uh, and this is when uh, Revelation takes a big turn after Revelation chapter 8. Um, so back over to the table. I do remember missing. I want to show you. Uh, destroyer is in here in the blue. I just remembered that destroyer cloud is in here. Another another uh, word uh, from an experiment. Um, the fact that Abaddon is here, Shiva, the computer. Uh, what I just read you is astounding. Um, this is not just wordplay. This is not just uh, alphabet soup, folks. Uh, this is here, um, and it's at uh, a statistic and probability uh, uh, on that is astounding. Um, the fact that you've got from the gates uh, of the abyss and then you got Raphium, Nephilim, and uh, Abaddon here, that, that's amazing in itself. But the fact that it comes up in the scriptures that it does, and I didn't even get to read these down here that I have marked, um, which are uh, prophecies of the end times. Let's get it over. It's kind of down and over to, where are they at? There they are. See how I got them marked? The black is the ones that I felt interesting, and then when I want to put a blue letter to the right or to the left of it, uh, it's even more. So it's my little way of knowing which were more profound. So this is how it's got it laid out. So we got these verses, this one, and down here to cover, which is uh, Hosea, Psalms, uh, Isaiah up here, just to cover yet before I uh, can release a final version of this table. But preliminary, you can see. Mm. They are playing with fire. Uh, folks, this country's in trouble. Um, it is clear. The codes call this country Babylon, spiritual Babylon, the whore, the harlot. Uh, the Catholic Church plays a part. Um, our president is a part of it. It's all a conspiracy on uh, the spiritual realm. Uh, we're just seeing the manifestations of it here. So there you go. The gates of the abyss in the codes, uh, and I don't know what else I can say about it until I get some of these verses, uh, look at some of these verses and get them highlighted for you. But there you go. Folks, have a blessed weekend. See you in the next video. Shalom.